Welcome back to Eyes Open News Report. Let's get started. This will be a quick uh, audio because it is Friday. I'm going to keep the weekends one short. Um, so Friday, Saturday, and Sundays will be short because, of course, there's no markets on Saturday and Sunday. Today uh, will probably be, you know, I'll try to keep it between 10 to 15 minutes, somewhere around there. Um, if we go longer, we go longer. I mean, it is Friday, but Saturday and Sunday, there's no markets. There's no reason why uh, we're um, it's taking that long, okay? And uh, if you want to check out, the, um, you know, the buy or sell, I got Honeywell or none. Is it Honeywell? Um, let me let me actually check to make sure before I say. So. Uh, yeah, Honeywell, Under Armour, and Netflix. Okay, for buy or sell on the main channel. And today we're gonna do. Um, which one are we going to do? We're going to do Boeing Company, okay, uh, for New York Stock Exchange. Boeing Company for New York Stock Exchange, and that is uh, BA. So get your charts out and get your charts ready to go, okay? Um, let's see here. Uh, so let's pray, and then we'll get into Wall Street to, for the day and see what else is going around around the world, okay? So Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful day. It is Friday. This Friday is complete, and we thank you, Lord, for just guiding us and protecting us and healing us. Thank you, Lord, for loving us so much. Thank you for your son, Yeshua, who died on the who died for our sins, Lord. If, if it's on the cross or on a tree, it is he still died for our sins, okay? And we thank him so much for that. We thank him. We honor him forever and ever and ever. We will honor Yeshua. And you give you gave the, uh, the the heavens to Yeshua, and uh, and Yeshua is the Lord of Lord and King of Kings, and we thank Him. He's the perfect one. That's why we follow Him. We follow the perfect one. We don't follow uh, you know sin. We don't follow this person or that person. We don't follow false gods. We don't follow moon gods. We don't follow any of that stuff. We follow the perfect one, which is Yeshua, who gave His life uh, for and shed His blood for for mankind and also for His chosen ones uh, that want to be a part of His kingdom. Uh, so we are all going to stand before Him. We all. Gonna to kneel before Yeshua and we're all going to have judgment before Yeshua because he's perfect and we have to get through him before we can see the father and he makes that clear in the Bible so um, thank you Lord thank you Lord for uh, for uh, Yeshua and thank you Lord for the Holy Spirit the Ruh HaKadosh Holy Spirit and we thank you Lord we burn out everything Lord that is negative in our minds in our dreams in our thoughts and we only just put we put positive things in there Lord we are, we are successful people we are beautiful people we are kind we are intelligent we have wisdom Lord and, and uh, we are smart and we are our marriages are strong. Our single life is strong. Um, uh, our our families are strong. And, and and if they're not right now, Lord, put them to back together. Bring the people of Christ together. Bring the godly people together. Bring the good people together. And, and and thank you, Lord, for all the things that you do. And just keep us in positive modes all the all day long. Lord, keep we we know we're gonna fall. We know we're gonna sin. We know we're gonna be negative at times, Lord. But mo if we can stay ninety percent throughout the day positive, Lord, that it will change our lives forever and uh, we thank you Lord we thank you for that secret we thank you for that gift we thank you for the ability to understand that positive thinking brings positive results and we thank you Lord for that um, continue just to guide us, Lord. Whatever is in our bodies that is sick, whatever uh, healing that we need, Lord, uh, heal us through the Huru HaKadosh, Holy Spirit. Burn out all that evil. Burn out all that uh, sickness. Burn out all that anger. Burn all that unforgiveness out of us, Lord, and let us love. Let us love like Yeshua. Let us love like Jesus Christ. Bring us the love. Give us the love of Christ. And, uh, and and let us be able to forgive our family members and friends and, and other people who have done us wrong. Let us move on. Let us move on. It's 2016. Let's put put that in the past and and, and forgive and open our hearts back up to love uh, the uh, the love people and love our neighbors and love our children, love our families, and give us that Christ love that we so desire and we need in our lives. Thank you, Lord. Uh, thank you, Lord, for forgiveness. Right now, we ask for forgiveness through our hearts. Right now, we ask for forgiveness through our hearts, Lord, because that's the only way you're going to forgive us is when we do it through our hearts. So we're doing it right now through our hearts. We ask for forgiveness for everything that we've done today that is evil in your sight, everything we did all week from from, from today till Sunday, from, which is the beginning of the week. Anything we've done, Lord, that was evil in your sight, we, for, we, we ask for forgiveness right now. Right now, we ask for forgiveness. Wash us clean, Lord, and set us free. And you will always set us free. And that's why we love you so much, Yeshua, Jesus Christ. And we thank you, and we honor you, and we honor the Holy Spirit, and we honor the Father. 
uh, Abba Elohim, and thank you, thank you, thank you. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And I cover this prayer in the blood of Yeshua and the power of the Ruach HaKadosh, Holy Spirit. Now let's look at uh, Wall Street. Let's get started. All right. So Wall Street was a uh, big today, man. Money, 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 money. <laughs> uh, Wall Street was at 396.66 points. Closed at 16,466.33. I mean, point, point three. I'm not sure if it's 33 or 3, but they just stopped it at 3, okay? So 16,466.3, okay? Um, NASDAQ was uh, up as well big, as up 107 points, uh, which is 2.38%, and it was at 4,613.953, okay? Uh, oil was up as well, it was at 33.74. Remember, it has to break fifth. Excuse me, it has to break 35, okay? It has to break 35, and then 35, if it breaks 35, it's going to 40, okay? And then you'll probably see it uh, fl start fluctuating somewhere around 40 to 45, okay? And then uh, then the next breakout is to 60 to 70, okay, in the summer. That's my belief. Uh, I don't. <laughs> everybody has different beliefs, right? Everybody has different opinions on oil, all right? But OPEC has come out. Clearly, come out and said they're stopping re the redu reducing reduction uh, production, and also the Middle East countries have also said the same thing just this week. So that should tell you that oil is going up. Um, okay, gold is at uh, up today, and it was at eleven. Uh, no, one thousand one hundred and eighteen point four, and the euro is at uh, on the dollar is at one hundred eight point uh, one hundred eight two nine. Okay, one hundred eight two nine. Um, Okay, let's see here. Anything interesting before I move on to the world markets? Uh, Barclays hired new risk chief. Okay. Uh, Chevron swings to a surprise loss. Mm -hmm. Well, no, it's not a surprise. The, the, the oil was low. Uh, Boeing tests uh, flies new 737 MAX aircraft. And Ford's margin outlook undercuts strong year. India cuts recent economic growth uh, estimates, okay? Um, let's go to the um, world markets now. All right, Shanghai Composite was up 3.09%. Nikkei, 2.80%. Uh, 2 Hang Seng, 2.66%. Euro, the Europe, or you can call it the Eurozone, whatever you want to call it. All, all the markets were up there. Um, and then uh, North America, South America, all the markets were up. Even Canada was up. Even um, Chile was up, okay? So we don't have to really go through the numbers. Everything was up. Everybody making money on uh, Friday. That should translate over to Monday as, as we uh, continue to probably rise up. It looks like the Dow has has found its soft zone, and, and, and then Monday it could crash. <laughs> okay, so I don't, you know, we're right now looking at the Dow Jones. It looks like it found a soft zone around 1550 to 615, and then maybe it's going to take a nice ride back up to 20,000. Uh, maybe 15,000 was the low. Maybe not. Maybe next week it goes to 13,000. I don't know. We just got to see how it plays out, okay? Um, let's see here. Okay, so we're looking at Boeing's uh, company, uh, which is on the New York Stock Exchange, and the stock symbol is BA. I had to open at eight, uh, 118.14. Uh, the high is uh, 120.18. The low is uh, 118.02. Um, the close is 120.13, and the volume was 90. Uh, I said 90. <laughs> well, the volume was 9.2 million. Um, the change was plus 2.12, and which is plus 1.80 percent. Um, okay, the RSI uh, 14 is at 35.08, which is not good, but is, it is coming up though. It is showing life. Um, the 50-day moving average is at 139.11, and the 200 moving day is at uh, 139.94. Okay. And which both of them are resistance, but they're way up there compared to where the price is. Oh, I, I kind of like that when, especially if the stock bottoms out. Okay. Um, so you can already tell where I'm, where I'm going to be going with this, uh, with this, uh, buy or sell or hold, right? <laughs> um, MACD is, uh, the bars are below zero, but starting to trend up. Um, and the black and red lines are way below zero, and I don't, they're not really changing up, they're really, they're staying stable right now, they're not going down, that's good, that's good news, I know there's really not any lower you can go, really, they're already at the bottom, so the only thing you can really do is go up from there, um, let's put in the parabolic SAR and see if we have a buy or sell on the SAR, 
Okay, the star is showing a sell sign. And um, how long has this sell sign been on there? For one, two, three, three days. Uh, three days on the um, on the, for the sell sign for that. Okay, so let's look at the weekly charts and see if we have any uh, patterns. See, the, the good thing about this is patterns. You've got to find patterns and you've got to find where the support is. That is how you play the stocks. You gotta find patterns and you gotta find the support. I mean, if you look at uh, Tim Sykes or any of these guys, Clay Trader, Tim Sykes, any of these guys that you can follow for stock stuff and and to learn from them and become a student with them, uh, you know, to master the stock market. Uh, uh, they follow patterns. You follow patterns, okay? You follow patterns, and you follow chart uh, 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 um, chart supports, okay? You got you got to put in the supports, and you got to put in the resistance. Without the supports and resistance, you're playing. You're just playing with fire, okay? Uh, you're playing r- Russian roulette or whatever you want to call it. You got to know where the support is, and you got to know what the resistance are, okay? Because look, if you buy, let's say you buy something at one fifty, right? And there's a massive resistance at one fifty one. You and you don't you don't know anything because you don't know how to you know you don't know how to you don't know how to read charts and you make a mistake you know what I mean so you got to know how to read charts okay um, uh, you know unless you're just following somebody and they're telling you everything to do and you're just making money off of them okay it's, but at some point what they, what what happens to them they get sick or they die or then then, then what you gonna do you know what I mean <laughs> hopefully you're a millionaire before before you, they, they 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 die. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're out of luck, right? Okay, so let's look at the um the weekly charts on Boeing, and let's see if we see any patterns. Okay, back here, 2013, it was uh, down here about uh, under 110, um, and then let's see, it came up here to 35, and then it went back down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, it even come up here to about what is this, um, 155 plus by 156, 157. Okay, and then it started to come down, and then they came all the way back down to about one third, uh, about 114, and then all the way back up to about 150. Okay, so 155, 150. Looking at the um, 50 day moving average, it uh, it goes below it and it comes back up above it, and then uh, now it's back below it again. Okay, and it looks like it's following the same pattern it just did back in um. August and September. I like that. I like patterns. So if you look back here, 2013, it was all the way to about 2015, it's following a nice pattern, and then it breaks out, and then it comes down, and then it drops big, comes right back up, okay, and it's doing the exact same thing. And it almost had the exact same bar, but this one was white and, and, and longer than this one. This one was sell. But it's still doing the same thing now. And I like that the uh, 200 moving days right there at 110 as well to catch it with massive support. And if you go down here, about 113 is also about uh, nice support, massive support at 113. So 113 is nice support. And the, and the massive big one is at 110. So that's, that's a good sign. So if we come back here to the daily charts to see if it's a buy, sell, or hold, you guys probably already know what it is. Uh, just by listening to my voice, okay. Um, so it got massive resistance up here at uh, one thirty nine, and uh, you know for for the um, fifty day and the and the two hundred day. But look what the price is at though. The price goes at one twenty. So if we if it, if it gets up there, that's a nice nineteen percent. I mean, that's a nice nineteen point gain. Nineteen shares, nineteen shares uh, gain. That's really good, you know, for those that are throwing big money into it. Okay, uh, nineteen share gain is really good. So. Um, yeah. So okay. So no more talking about this. It's a buy. Uh, clearly, um, would would I buy at one twenty point thirteen where it closed at, or should I buy at one seventeen? Uh, it doesn't matter. Anywhere between one fifteen to one seventeen is where I'll be. I'll be buying. Uh, for uh, for anybody that wants to buy, or that's where I will be buying if I had money to to buy. <laughs> okay. So. If I had money to buy, I'll be buying 115 to 120 range, and I'll take it all the way up to 127, uh, and then all the way up to to 200 and uh, 50 day moving average at 137. Okay, so in between there, uh, it's a good profit. You might be able to get five dollars a profit per share, or you might be able to get 19. Okay, so it all depends on where you where you want to uh, you know sell at. All right, so Boeing is a buy at 115 to 120. Okay. Now let's move on. Uh, Zero Head says, uh, meanwhile, in Canada, a real estate bargain emerges. 
uh, indictment looms as FBI declares 22 Clinton home servers emails top secret. Oh, my goodness gracious. Is Hillary Clinton going to be arrested? Or <laughs> Oh, wow. Unbelievable. Uh, China's three trillion yuan margin call time bomb is about to explode. Oh no! <laughs> um, let's see here. Where is this? Um, okay, they're showing some type of uh, um, the mosquito outbreak is in some con is in some state. I don't know what state this is. Uh, I can't see it, but man, um, it's in some state. It's uh, there's an epidemic in the Zika outbreak uh, virus, and it's in some state, and I can't see what the state is. I wish I could. Uh, let me let me see if I can get it. Hold on one second, guys and girls, because I want to. I really do want to see where this thing is at, because um, it's in America, and that's not cool at all. Um, so let's see what state this is at. Let's see. Okay, that's not America. What, what the world is this? Cuba? Is that Cuba? That better not be Cuba. <laughs> I don't know. Um, is this Bra oh, this is Brazil. Okay, so it's coming from Brazil. Apparently, that's what they're saying here. It's it, it, it's uh, coming from Brazil. Wow. Brazil got a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> Um, so the Zika virus, that's why it's in the coming to America because Brazil's right underneath us. Um, okay. Let's see. What else can we see here? Negative rates in the U S are next. Here's why on the charts. Okay. The charts say that negative interest rates are net. Oh my goodness. Negative interest rate, meaning that, that the banks or will be, you, you'll be owing the bank's money. <laughs> If you put money in a checking account, you owe them, you owe the bank's money. The banks get to take your money, your interest, okay? I mean, the, the interest off your money. Um, Hold on one second, guys and girls. Hey, Sorry about that, guys and girls. Um... Uh, let's finish. Let's quickly finish up here because I do. I do got to um, uh, handle some business real quick. Okay, so um, let's see here real quick. Um, Syria opposition uh, to join uh, peace talks. Uh, the GOP debate uh, resembles political uh, circus. Okay, um, it says here that uh, uh, bombing kills ten in uh, northeast Nigeria. Uh, refugees death toll in the Mediterranean, I guess, sores, not cool at all. Um, Iran con uh, condemns Saudi mosquito attacks. Oh, my, um, I said mosquito. Oh, my God. <laughs> I know I'm tired now. Uh, Iran condemns Saudi uh, mosque attack, okay? Uh, U.S. economy slowed in the fourth quarter. Well, even with the holiday season, um, U.S. economy still cannot break out of it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, if you guys uh, saw the demonstrations in Iraq today, um, down in Baghdad um, area, the central central of Baghdad, um, so it, the, the citizens are really tired, are getting tired of what's going on, and they are about to attack. Okay, so um, just get ready for that. Um, hopefully that doesn't happen. Hopefully they get the reforms in place, and they and uh, the three presidencies, uh, the three presidencies uh, did talk last night in an emergency meeting, and they did. Uh, talk about the laws and everything like that so um let's see what happens let's see if they announce something big over the weekend uh maybe something with i lack maybe something with the rate maybe something with something okay so um i don't i don't know i, I know that they're trying to get masoul back a body really wants masoul back the citizens don't look like they're gonna give him that much time to get masoul back but i think masoul's only t about you know a couple of weeks away so uh according to what we're hearing from other people uh in the dinar community that that uh you know that masoul's only about two three weeks away so hopefully a body can say look man masoul's almost done please give me this please Please give me my soul back and then I can plant my flag and then I can give you guys everything that you want and arrest Maliki and all the corrupt and remove our lack. Please just give me my soul back. So 
that's the uh, that that is what we're go- dealing with right now, and that's what we're going through. And uh, let's see what happens over the weekend. If we see any breaking news, that I will report it on the main channel. To fo- you know, you should be following me on the main channel, anyways. Uh, so on the main channel, I will break it. Anything that we see, if you guys have any type of information or any breaking news, please send it to me on Currency Three Sixty Five Facebook page or uh, the YouTube channel. Uh, I really don't check the YouTube messages that many times, but you can also uh, comment on the on the on, on the videos. As well okay so that is it i am done um let's do one um to go out for friday and that is i am successful and that's the one we always do because we just we just got to be successful and you, you, the only way you're going to be able to fulfill your destiny is if you're successful right you're not you're not if you're a failure you're not going to complete your destiny on earth okay you're supposed if the only way you're going to complete your destiny is if you're successful okay so that's why successful is very important because it helps you complete your destiny okay on earth so i am successful 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 I am successful. 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 Okay? So there you have it. We are successful people. We are intelligent. We are bright. We are we have a future, bright future. We are covered through the blood of Yeshua and the Ruha Kadesh Holy Spirit. And we are covered for 2016. And even though all the bad things are going to happen and all the good things are going to happen, we're, just, we're going to be uh, going through it all. And we're going to go through it all with joy and peace and happiness. Okay? So eyes open. And that is it for Friday. Tomorrow, um, you know, we're back at it again. Tomorrow, same time, you know, around 6, 7, 8 o'clock. And uh, we'll get it done. And we'll continue to look at world news and continue to do what we do. All right? So peace out. Eyes open.